Beverly here today to tell you about my very favorite tool, my digital player. My digital player gives me the opportunity to listen to any kind of a book I'd like to hear. I am a fa I love I love to read and I can't read anymore, but I can listen to my favorite authors thanks to this particular device and thanks to the uh, Library of Congress's National Library Service. They've been around a long time, and through them, they have provided for vision-impaired people for at least the last 30 to 40 years. And this is their latest, newest technique, which took them about 10 years to develop and is quite sophisticated. This, this particular device allows one to play a, a, a book. Now, here's what the digital books look like. Now this one is a one single book and it's over 15 hours of listening pleasure. Other books, uh, I've had many books where they've been a series and they've, they've included them all together and in one particular group was four books and it was a 28 hours of listening pleasure on that one book. Now when you, when you get these you have up to five weeks to listen and they will send up to five of these to you and you can rotate them out and they have their own little cases and it's free to send them back and then um, one of the coolest things about this is that all these different buttons have a function and you don't have to totally memorize it for one thing every one of them is touch you can feel them when you touch them power battery charge remaining 19 hours battery powered press this power button to turn the player off Press the power button again to turn the player back on. If the player is running on battery and not playing a book, it will automatically turn off after 30 minutes to preserve battery power. It's every button is, is informational. Tone down. To lower the tone of the voice by one step, press the tone down button. There are 11 tone steps. The player will tell you when the voice tone is normal. Every one of these buttons has a function. One of the things I love about it is that when you get readers, you kind of you 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 have your own way of listening and liking things. I don't care for very high pitched sounding readers, so I can lower the pitch. Oh, there's up to 15 positions of pitch lowering and raising. The same goes for speed. Sometimes readers are are la rather laborious. Well, you can actually increase the speed. Speed up. To increase the reading speed by one step, press the speed up button. There are 16 speed steps. The player will tell you when the reading speed is normal. Speed adjustment can only be performed with a book inserted in the player. The speed cannot be changed in button describer mode. Play, stop. To start or stop playing a book, use the large play stop button. Sleep. Pressing the sleep button once will play 15 minutes of the book and then stop the machine. Pressing the sleep button twice will play the book for 30 minutes, three times for 45 minutes. Previous element. Each time you press this previous item button, you will move to the previous item at the navigation level you have chosen. For example, if you volume up to increase volume up to increase the volume by one step, press the volume up button. Every button in here has a function. You don't have to memorize them. All you have to do is just listen to them. Now, when you take the when you take the, the book out, it will give you, you can rotate through all of these. When you put it back in, you can still utilize them. Dreaming death. Current position. Chapter 31. Touch sensitive starve to death before they learn to tolerate food again. Now, many times when you've stopped the button, you don't quite remember where you are, so you can do this. Back. Back. 20 seconds. Now this button will allow you to go back 20 seconds, back one minute, back five minutes, back 15 minutes, and then back by chapter. Or you've gone too far back and you want to fast forward. 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 20 seconds. 20 seconds, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes by chapter. And then these are actual chapter buttons up here. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. It works by no batteries. You plug it in and charge it, and when the battery starts getting low, it will tell you battery power low. 
and then you can just plug it in and you can use it while it's plugged in or you can use it with the plug tucked in neatly like this. So I wanted to show this to you and tell you that even if you have been familiar with the library and the audiobooks that the library has or even if you've downloaded audiobooks from the internet this is quite a this is quite a feature. I was I had learned a little bit about audiobooks from uh, the library, which are wonderful, by the way. And most of my friends uh, who are visual, they love them. They they play them in their car all the time. They play them in, when they're you know watching or waiting for their kids at the doctor's office. But and this certainly is a little bit bulky to go you know out. But it's a wonderful wonderful tool to be inside. And because it's put together by the Library of Congress, one of the things that after I had been involved with them for about a month or two, one of these booklets showed up. And I said, oh, wh what's this? And inside here was a whole list of different types of books that were offered and different genres. There's over 20 genres of, for adult fiction. Then there's nonfiction books, uh, everything... Uh, from art to zoology, in, in this particular section here, there's a whole bunch of information on children's books and the types of children's books. Um, just, it's wonderful. And then, if, if you are unable to read this, have one of your family members read because some of the current books that they now are showing, these are the books, the, the names of the books, and a little bit of a, of a biography of them. When you get books, I, I have favorite authors, but they send me, I told them to just send me, uh, you know, just send me fictional books. I like certain authors, and they kind of see what I like, and they kind of, just like a, a Pandora, if, you, if you, they know you like a certain type, they kind of find that type, and they send them to you. Um, so, anyway, um, just wanted to say that, that I wanted you to know about this. Let me give you the 800 number. This is for Illinois, but this program is throughout the United States. There are, it's in 50 states, Puerto Rico, um, and the Virgin Islands. So if you're, in, if you're in Illinois or if you're in Indiana or California, wherever you are, if you call up this number, they will give you a local number. Or you can actually probably go online and get it yourself. But if you're from Illinois, you call this number and you say, hey, I have an aunt in Idaho that that's visually impaired, how can I get something to her? They'll give you the phone number of the Idaho uh, Talking Book program out there, and you can give them a call, and you can, you, you can get the ball rolling for you to get an application for your particular person so that they have the opportunity uh, to receive this. This is a free service for people that are visually impaired. Because of that, you do need with the application, they do need a certified a doctor, physical therapist, someone in the health field that is visual in nature. In other words, if, you're, if your son is a dentist, you can't have him sign this. He's not in the visual area. But a visual occupational therapist would be able to sign it. Um, an optometrist, an ophthalmologist, uh, a nurse in a, in a, in a uh, vision doctor's office could sign this. So that's what they mean by certified. So I, I hope you enjoyed uh, my little overview of this. And uh, if you know uh, of someone who loves to listen and would love to take advantage of this program, please share this with them because once you've lost your, your sight, this opens up a whole world for you. Reading, reading and listening to, to books that uh, on tape opens up a world that you may no longer be able to do on, on the outside, but you can do it by envisioning what everything is about. So I hope you enjoyed this, and please take advantage of it. And also, talk to your representatives, because this is a federally funded program. And many of the, with it being federally funded, a lot of the, a lot of it also is locally funded. So you need both. So call your representatives and say, look, we need this program. Don't cut it from the budget. And until next time.